I'm Lauren. I'm Casey. And today we are, well, number one, we're wearing our ugly Christmas sweaters. Yes. I mean, well, like they're not ugly per se. They're festive. 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 That's a good, yes. Festive <laughs> sweaters for yeah. Christmas because we are talking about eggnogs. Eggnogs. So we're sharing yes. the eight eggnogs of Christmas. Mm -hmm. Like 12 days of Yes, you get yes. it. Eight eggnogs. <laughs> yes. All eggnogs because there are so many different types of eggnogs yeah. that we found. Just walking through our stores, we have so many different types. Mm -hmm. We have some in the frozen food, like dairy area, like the typical eggnog. Right. And then we have tons of different varieties in our natural organic department. So we are going to be sampling like all the eggnogs. All today. of them. Yes. I had no idea that there were no. so many kinds. No. So this is exciting. Do you drink eggnog, like, usually around the holidays? Not really. Like, a sip a year and I'm good. I don't... I, don't, I honestly you? have never really had it. I think okay. I bought it one time, and then sure. I don't think I really drank it, and I had to pour sure. it out, but... Okay. <laughs> sure. Well, but we're going to try them out today, yeah. so this will be good. We yeah. don't have any preconceived notions about eggnog. This is true, definitely. So one thing I don't know is really what is in eggnog. Yeah. So drop some knowledge, because you did some research. Here we go. No. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I guess eggnog is basically just a sweetened dairy drink that has whipped egg whites and then egg yolks. Okay, so, I knew that like there was the egg component, clearly sure. like eggnog. Yeah. But okay. Which is interesting because that kind of makes it similar to like if you think of like a frozen custard. Yeah. The ingredients are all like the same. Sure. It's just kind of different proportions and all that. So And the eggs are pasteurized, Good right? Point. So yes. that makes them safe to drink raw. Right. Right. Some people like drink it with alcohol. Oh, yeah, we should definitely talk about that. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> bourbon, brandy, yep. whiskey. Um, rum is a thing, I guess. Oh, um, oh like, a spiced rum would be good. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. But I've never had it with alcohol. So I haven't either. Unfortunately, we're not going to today. But <laughs> No, we have to drink so many of them, which yeah. would just not be good. Right, right. But First one, we are having Kemp's Golden Eggnog. So this is like original, typical eggnog that you would buy. Cool. The OG the, eggnog. The OG eggnog. Love it. So this oh. is really thick. Yeah, very creamy Cream. looking. And there's like flecks in it, which, oh, yeah. I wonder if that's you know, like... No, it's, uh, let's see, uh, that's egg. Hmm. I don't know. They use turmeric to make it like that yellowy oh, color, sure. which right. is a spice used in like Indian food and stuff. We use yeah. pretty often in our recipes, but it almost looks like yeah. vanilla, but I don't see that in there. No, no, I, I'm not sure. Hmm. All right. This is like what I remember. Yeah. <clears throat> of egg. Really sweet. Yes. Really creamy. Mm-hmm. Thick. Yes. It's just, it tastes like classic. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, it's okay. But yeah, yeah, I'll give it a ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Maybe a ho, uh, ho. A ho, ho, sure. <laughs> sure, that's a good, that's a good call. I'll do two as well. Okay, oh. so our next one, we are tasting Organic Valley. Um, okay. They make an eggnog, um, so for, if you're looking for an organic option, we have some of those. Um, so they don't use antibiotics, hormones, toxic pesticides, and GMOs. And you find this in our natural organic department. So overall, the ingredients are probably pretty similar to yes. a traditional yep. eggnog, just with the additions that you mentioned. Oh, this one kind of yep. has some specs as well. And Organic Valley is local as well, so. Nice. Plus. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, I really like this one. I do too. It's not as thick. Right, but still super creamy. Creamy, mm -hmm. sweet. It tastes like I can taste a lot of spices. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Nutmeg is in here. There it is. That is what I like mm -hmm. about this mm -hmm. one a lot. Mm. I give this one a ho ho. Ho ho ho. <laughs> For sure. Me too. <laughs> ho ho ho. Okay, so keeping with the organic theme, we have another organic option. Um, this is Horizon Organic. Um, the difference with this one is that it's a low fat option. Sure. Creamy and delicious, as it says. Right. Which I, oh. on this package here, I'm seeing that you can use it to make French toast. Oh, which is I kind never of thought about you can that. use it in cooking too. Go figure. That's neat. Yeah. So more than just an academic. Definitely. 
definitely. Mmm, interesting. It tastes like banana. It, yeah, it tastes a lot different yeah. than the other two. Mm -hmm. But good. Right. It's If you don't like the typical eggnog taste, it almost smells like banana gumball. Gum? Yes, yes, like bubble gum. Bubble gum, yes. Yeah. Yes, a banana bubble gum. Yeah, I don't know how that all works, but yeah. it, it kind of does. Mm -hmm. hmm. This is still really creamy though, I think for being a low fat. It is, it still has a lot of flavor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna ho-ho. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> so next we have a soy option. So this is dairy-free mm -hmm. soy nog, so no eggs in here. Okay, no eggs, no dairy. That's a good option if you have yeah. different dietary needs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one for Ooh. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's like very thin. It's like milk. It looks okay. like soy milk. All right. And I don't see like no. a lot of spices. Mm -hmm. But what it, we were thinking like egg or um, nutmeg. Yeah. Like usually. Okay. Let's, let's add a little bit. So this is what you're actually okay. supposed to do. Is there just like garnish? B Y O egg. Wait. B Y O nutmeg. <laughs> yeah. I love nutmeg. Yes. Yes. It'll make a difference. Give it a little more flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not bad. No. The nutmeg definitely adds. It makes it more eggnoggy tasting because yes. this is a soy based option. Mm -hmm. And the ingredients are really just soy milk and some sugar. Yeah, so. And then the turmeric for the color. A lot fewer calories than like a traditional. Yes, egg definitely nog. lighter, mm -hmm. not as heavy. Right. Um, but definitely an option where I think you could still add that brandy. Yes. Or whiskey or rum. Or bird, whatever. Yes, whatever your heart <laughs> desires. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so. I would give this one a ho-ho. I wouldn't buy it unless, you know, I needed to avoid dairy. Sure. And add nutmeg. And add nutmeg, <laughs> yes. Next up, our eggnog is, this one is so cute. It is. Look, look I, at this packaging. Isn't it so cute? Adorable. Yes. It's so festive. Like, you could just have this out. Oh, and it would just add to yeah, your so like, every time you open decor. your fridge, it's just like, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Nice. Yes. So I love Khalifa's um, other like almond mm -hmm. milk options or creamers. So I'm excited to try this one mm -hmm. um, because I do like their other products. It's ooh, thin. Well, this yeah. one's like more like a different color. Yeah, it is. It smells really good. Looks like there's ginger in this one. This one, yes, you can smell that. Ginger? Mm hmm. Yep. Ooh, very light. I like it, mm -hmm. yeah. It's like... It's kind of spicy. Yes. With the ginger. Right. And, and since it's almond milk, so there's yes, no dairy... Yes, it's almond milk. Right. And no eggs either, right? Correct. This one doesn't have dairy or eggs either. Yes. So just like the soy one. But it's a lighter option, only 50 calories, there's mm -hmm. less sugar, no saturated fat, mm -hmm. dairy-free, um, soy-free. I nice. like this one. I feel like this would be good in coffee. Oh, because it's yeah. like light enough to not overpower, but it would still give like a lot of good like holiday flavor. Yes, yeah, and you could add a little nutmeg again, a little more spice. There you go. Never enough nutmeg. <laughs> ho 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 for ho, me. Ho 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 for sure. <laughs> we have another almond option. So this one is almond breezed almond milk nog. Um, mm -hmm. So similar to the Khalifa in that it's almond. Sure. Um, and again, these are the ones you'd find in our natural department. So this one's thicker than the oh, Khalifa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pours a little thicker. It has some yep. speckles. Yeah, a few little spices of mm -hmm. some sort. Ooh, this one, this smells sweeter it than does. the last one. It does. Mmm. Better mouthfeel. I like this one, yeah. But it tastes it's amazing to me how all these taste different. Yes, even the almond milk to the almond, like the yeah, two different totally. almond Yeah, totally. Yeah. But, and when you look at the ingredients, they do use different spices, sure. um, which really does make a huge difference, but. Mm -hmm. This one, I feel yeah. like you can really taste the almond coming through. Yes. Which I like a lot. And this one too is so much lighter, so 70 calories mm. for a half cup, mm -hmm. compared to more the traditional ones. Right, nice. Ho, ho, ho from me. Yeah, I would say the same, ho, ho, ho. Are you feeling it now? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it. A little bit. It's a lot of knots. This is no joke. Like, that, 
how we're doing eight? Eight. Eight is a and lot of And these don't even have alcohol in them. No, that's a good point. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot imagine. That's a video for another day. But we are committed. <laughs> yes. We are getting through these mm -hmm. eight nogs. Yep. We have two more to go. Yep, home stretch. <laughs> so hang in there. Yes. Yeah. We're going to move on to a healthier option to kind of lighten it up a sure. little bit. Um, so this one is a kefir nog. Ooh, that's fun. Do you want to tell our friends what kefir yeah, is? Yes, so kefir is like a dairy drink that has uh, cultures in it, bacteria cultures. And what's interesting about it is, um, so it, it's dairy based, but it's like 99% lactose free because the cultures that are in kefir break down the lactose. So that's kind of like a good option. I'm sad. If lactose is an issue, um, this is okay, even though it still has dairy. But what a good drink for the holidays because of the probiotics, you know, when you're yeah. like eating all this stuff and maybe your you know, tummy's not feeling the best, mm -hmm. probiotics will definitely help. Yeah, so definitely. hey. Win win. Show your gut some love. Yes. <laughs> and this one says shake well, like back here, back here, like everywhere. So we better shake <laughs> Probably, this one. Probably, yeah. Good call. Follow directions. <laughs> um, okay. I'm interested to see what, yeah. What, ooh. ooh. I, I like that color. I can smell it right away. It yes. smells like yogurt. Yes, it does. It does. Yeah, the color I, is. I'm interested to see. A little different. A little more. Because bland. kefir is like tangy usually. Mm -hmm. So like the combination of that with eggs. Because of the color. Let's try it. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> it's so, oh my god, that hurts making Ooh. cheese hurt. Yeah, yeah, like when you have like sour. Yes. Yes. I'm not like a huge sour person, so not. Sure. I was not expecting that much. Tank. No. I don't really taste eggnog too much. No. It's more. But that could be my like sourness issue of mm -hmm. just tasting the sour. It's more almost like an after like yeah. taste of spice or something very subtle. I don't hate it though. <laughs> it's no, like, I could do this in like a smoothie. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe like a morning drink instead of an evening drink. Like a breakfast nog. Yeah. Which is, yeah. Which could kind of be fun. Yeah, definitely. Especially around the holidays. Everything can be festive. Yeah. And breakfast too. If we're talking like breakfast, I can put this in a smoothie. Yeah. Then I give it a ho ho ho. Okay. I, I think I'm gonna drink this whole thing. I'm also gonna give it a ho ho ho. <laughs> So one last one. One left. We can do it. We can do it. And this one looks super good. I'm excited Ooh, about it. Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort. Disclaimer, no alcohol in here. So okay. I think they're like doing some encouraging. Sure. So you can add it in. Okay. But no alcohol okay. in here. That makes sense. But vanilla spite flavored eggnog. So something That's, a little different. Yeah. So this one's probably pretty similar to like the first one that we try, like a traditional yeah. yep so this one you would find in like the dairy department by okay. the other like traditional eggnogs not like the other ones we've talked about in sure. natural organic section that makes sense um oh and if, if you have trouble finding any of these just ask one of the friendly associates at the stores because they know where they all are yes <laughs> that's what we do yeah because... <laughs> that's what we do yep <laughs> it can be hard to find things sometimes. definitely Ooh, vanilla really, yeah, yeah very vanilla Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. It's very, it, that doesn't taste like eggnog to me. It makes me think of like a Christmas cookie almost. Like a sugar cookie? Yes, in liquid form. That yeah, is exactly like what icing. this- with like icing. Yes, that is exactly what this, <laughs> instead of nutmeg, sprinkles. <gasps> yes. To just complete the whole. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Next time. <laughs> yeah, so I taste the vanilla, which yeah. I mean, makes sense with like the cookie-ness, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's really, it's really sweet. Very sweet. Really creamy. Mm-hmm. I like this one. Really good. Especially, like I said, because it's not like a typical eggnog flavor. So if you aren't an eggnog No, it lover, doesn't. It doesn't taste like don't the others. Don't count this one out, because it doesn't really taste like eggnog, if you ask me. But yeah. I love it. <laughs> I'll give it a ho, ho, ho. Yes, me too, definitely. <laughs> Which one was your favorite? They honestly all really surprised me. Yeah. I really liked most of them, clearly by our ho-ho-hos. Right. <laughs> um, but I honestly think my favorite was the Organic Valley. That one was very good. That's the one that <clears throat> had true nutmeg in there, and I love nutmeg. So yeah. that one really stood out to me. That one was very good. What about you? I think I really liked the Southern Comfort Vanilla Spice. Mostly because, Good. like you said, it tasted like a cookie. <laughs> and less eggnoggy. Right. But like Which, true eggnog flavor. Yeah, yeah. But if I'm going more like 
um, kind of specialty nog. I also really liked the Almond Breeze. Yes, almond that one was one. good too. Mm -hmm. And I liked the Khalifa Farms a lot too. And even I could get behind the Keeper for breakfast. Yeah, a breath again, breakfast nog. So we have yeah. eggnog for different occasions, different palates, mm -hmm. different dietary needs, you name yeah. it. I am like, I had no idea <laughs> that there was this much out there. No, this but I, awesome. I think I'm going to drink it this holiday yeah. season. Yeah, yeah. We've, you've made believers of us. <laughs> yes. Well, we hope you guys give some of these eggnogs a try this holiday season. And of course, let us know which ones are your favorites. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.